So I'm just here in the Eltham district, uh, just north of Lismore in the Northern Rivers, New South Wales. Uh, just having a look at a corn crop here in terms of fall armyworm. Uh, now this corn crop isn't really a proper corn crop. It was planted quite late and taken out by a flood. So what we've got here is just the remnants of the crop uh, that didn't um, disappear in the flood. But the purpose of uh, today really is to look at what sort of damage fall armyworm do and what, what fall armyworm looks like if you haven't seen it. So you can see these plants of leaves have been chewed up um, a bit, uh, lots of holes in the leaves um, and uh, just general sort of uh, leaf damage. Um, what the first signs that you'll see of fall armyworm is um, on the leaves here they tend to eat these surface of the leaf off and um, you can see my finger just behind there, it's sort of like rice paper. They've taken the surface of the leaf off on both sides and just left that thin sort of film and then later on they'll start to eat the round holes and then eat them all the way through and out to the edges of the leaves and uh, end up with that sort of damage like that and some probably worse ones here I can find. There's a leaf that's just about been chewed right off and if you get a really bad um, infestation you'll actually see the ends of the leaves actually look square because they've just chewed that off and the crop just looks like that um, and when you look across it it can look quite flat like someone's given it a flat top haircut um, once the corn starts to form a cob the fall armyworms like to get into those cobs and eat them and there's one over here we can see down here, where the leaf hits that cob is, is the entry point that they like to go in at. So there's a grub right there. Um, so there's a fall armyworm grub. And what they tend to do from there is bore a hole straight through that cob and out the other side. So they just bore a hole through the cob, pretty much start causing the cob to rot and we lose all the quality of the corn. So. If you haven't seen what a fall armyworm looks like, there's actually plenty of photos you could look at online which are going to give you a better idea than the, through this camera. But um, there is there. The things that identify them normally are uh, inverted Y-shaped marking on the head. Just behind the head there's quite a thick collar. Um, and then there's four spots on the tail in a square sort of pattern. Um, but as I say, you can look at those online and see um, what they look like. Uh, the things, in terms of controlling fall armyworm, one of, the, one of the big things is not to plant your corn too late because um, the population of fall armyworm builds up um, from winter through into the summer. Uh, they actually fly into the region from further north from Queensland uh, in sort of spring. Numbers build up and um, so if you're planting sort of, I would say December, definitely after Christmas, it's really getting really late and there's a huge population and you're going to more than likely get an infestation of fall armyworm in corn. There's a couple of things we can do about it. One is there's a product called Magnet, which is a uh, moth attractant. We spray it onto different parts of the crop to uh, um, uh, make the moths want to land only in certain parts of the crop and not all over it. Uh, with that magnet is mixed in a insecticide called Neudrin and that will kill the moths. So they'll land on those leaves that have been treated with the attractant, drink the Neudrin and they'll die before they lay the eggs. Um, there's also products that can kill the grubs, um, products such as Altacore and a couple of others. Um, the Using those two things in, in tandem seems to be the way to go because um, if we just spray the grubs uh, it's more than likely that in a couple of weeks time we'll have a new flight of moths come in from somewhere and lay more eggs and then we've got to spray those grubs again when we, when we find them. So uh, breaking the cycle by killing the moths, stopping the eggs being laid and, um, and then if we do end up with grubs spraying them with 
with an insecticide. Um, so next year, if you are going to plant corn, talk to your agronomist at Norco about um, uh, these treatments, how we can help you to get a decent corn crop and, and um, overcome fall armyworm.